Hi there. So in this video, we will take a look at how to install Postgres SQL. And first thing, go to Postgres SQL. And here you will see home page such as this. Now you have to go to download page. And on that page, you have option to download binary packages. Let's say for Linux, Mac OS, Solaris, and Windows. So choose for Windows because this is installation video for Windows. I'm going with that. Currently, you have two options here. One is downloading official installer from Postgres. And you have the stop version to check out from. Also, there is one more graphical installer by Big SQL. You can go to their pages for downloading that. Okay, so simply click on this link. And the next thing to do is it will show you that installer option here. So if I click on this link, it will start the installer. Okay, here you can choose from old and new version. Okay, 9.67 and 10.2. Okay, if you choose this top link, it will choose the recent and stable version. And if you choose from this right widget, then you will find the most quarterly stable version. Okay, so I have clicked on this and downloaded the installer. As you can see, it's here on desktop. And next thing to do is double click on it it will ask for usc approval on windows so you have to say yes okay right so let's wait for the graphical installer So here you see, set up and started. Click on next. Choose the installation directory. Here I'm choosing D drive. Okay. Then next thing, click on next. Okay. And you have to create exception. Otherwise, it won't let it install. Okay. So let's check that again. Postgres SQL. Next thing, you have to choose this. You have some, then also you have this LTS, which is basically graphical developer. Okay, so these two, make sure to check that. Click next. Here you have to choose password. Okay, and you have to retype as well. Okay, and you can select advanced configuration options, and you can also select the port. So I'm gonna add some password here. Okay, so I have I added the password. I'm clicking on next. And username is Postgres, password is the one that we added, and port is 5432. Click on next, and it should start the installation. It will take few minutes, around four to five minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. And if you have any other um, background services running, that may slow down, so it will take time accordingly. Once the installer finishes processing, it will create one uninstaller and it will show you windows such as this. It will show you that setup has finished installing Postgres on your computer. Simply click finish, then go to start menu. Then let's go to 
all programs here we have to check for postgres okay and here you can see there is lts and also postgres shell so let's simply open the shell and see if it's there okay as you can see if you can see this shell that means postgres is properly installed okay also it will show you some warning that console code page differs from windows code page so 8-bit characters may not work and you have to fix respective with notes for windows users okay now in this shell you can type your sql queries and perform queries on database okay so this was video for installing postgres sql on windows machine